Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing some nail caviar and it is actually from the brand called Nail Rock. I found mine at Walgreens for about $7 each and I actually picked it up in two different colors. This color here is called Pluto and it includes the nail polish to use as your base and then it also comes with a little container of the nail caviar. The nail caviar in this collection is really pretty. It includes a nice purple, a lighter purple, and then a gold and a nice champagne color. So really, really pretty. And then the pink nail polish that they include for you as a base is a nice pink color with a little bit of a purple iridescence to it. And then the other color I got here is called Venus and it comes with a nice gold base color and then the nail caviar included in this set is really pretty. It actually reminds me of Dippin' Dots but it has a nice silver color, blue, pink, and then a nice orange color. So let's go ahead and start painting. Um, we're starting off with the gold color here, and this is what the polish looks like right from the bottle. So what you want to do to start is actually use your base color and paint your nails with a couple coats and let that dry completely. While it's drying, you'll want to set up your nail caviar, and what I recommend doing is taking your little container of nail caviar and putting it into a plastic container, and what I used was the plastic container that came with the box, and what you want to do is take a thick layer of your nail polish and make sure to coat your nail completely, that way the nail caviar has your entire nail to stick onto. Then take your nail and gently dip into the nail caviar jar and make sure you turn your nail and dip into the container that way you make sure you get the edges and your entire nail covered. What you'll notice is that some of the nail caviar may be sticking onto your skin. What I recommend doing is using a little, like what I use as a paintbrush and you can actually just kind of use the paintbrush to brush off all the excess nail caviars. you also notice some of the nail caviar stuck underneath your nail. You can also use your finger to take these out or go ahead and use that paintbrush or your makeup brush to brush out those nail caviar. And here's the completed look. So super pretty. It really does remind me a lot like Dippin' Dots. Now moving on to the next finger, you want to repeat kind of the same steps throughout your hand. So a thick layer of polish and then dip your finger into the nail caviar and making sure to rotate to cover your entire nail. And as you can see with this finger, I actually got quite a bit of excess nail caviar on there. So just use your brush to push off the excess and clean up the mess. You also want to make sure to take your finger and gently push the nail caviar onto your nail. That way it really sticks onto your nail polish. So that's what my nails look like, all completed. So really cool, really fun. It actually looks exactly like the nail caviar from the container. Now moving on to the other color, I went ahead and put a couple coats of the pink polish on my fingers, and I repeated the same exact steps as I did on my other hand, and these are the results I got from here. So super, super pretty. I actually really like these nail caviars. This is my first time trying them, and I really like the effect that they give. 
Now in this video, I did not put any top coat on, but be sure to put top coat on your nails if you prefer for your nail caviar to last more than a day long, otherwise your little beads may fall off prematurely. And that completes my review for today. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Please do like this video if you enjoyed my review, and I hope to see you guys again soon in my next video. Bye everyone!